close your eyes and focus on your breath. No one is coming in, no one's going out. And if your mind wanders off, just drop whatever it is that distracted you and get back to the breath. The mind needs a good foundation like this. It needs something solid. Because you look at our lives, the way time passes and passes and passes, as they say in Thai. Time eats up the, the bodies of living beings as well as itself. You think about the pleasures you had last week or even the pleasures you had yesterday. What do you have now? Well, you have the memory. You want to make sure the memories are good. So you want to make sure that what you're looking for for happiness right now is the good sort of happiness, the happiness that provides good memories. And the best memories are the ones when you've done something well, you did something good. Because sometimes when you think about pleasures you've had in the past, and even though they were nice pleasures, still they're gone. And the thought of the past pleasures is not all that happy a thought. It has a bittersweet quality. But if you think about the good that you've done and being generous and observe, being virtuous, getting your mind under control so that your defilements of greed, aversion, and delusion don't take things over, well, the memory of that is a good memory. And at the same time, you'll learn some skills. So you can look for the right kind of happiness now and on in the future. So it takes some time to get the mind a little bit more under control, because the mind out of control is its worst enemy. You can have all kinds of good things in life, but if your mind is out of control, then you can destroy them very easily. On the other hand, if you don't have much in life, but if your mind is in good shape, you learn how to be content, you learn how to make the best of what you've got, okay, then you can be happy with sometimes even with very little. If you develop the discernment to go along with that, then as John Lee says, all you need is a machete. If you've got discernment, you can set yourself up in life. In other words, you begin to realize that the material things we have are not that important. What's really important is the quality of the mind. So that's where we focus attention on the mind, getting it under control. Because the mind out of control can be extremely destructive. The mind in control can create a solid happiness that's really lasting, and the more you get to know it, the more you begin to appreciate it. So try to take some time to get your mind under control here. Those thoughts that go wandering off, those are the troublemakers. They may be looking for just a little entertainment or a little bit of fun, but they end up causing all kinds of trouble. It's like kids go wandering out, haven't been well trained by their parents, they come back and they steal things and they get into trouble. But if the parents have trained them well, then even when they wander off, they come back and they don't cause trouble. So you want your mind to be under control this way. Because otherwise, what do you have in this lifetime? We've got this body, but the body wears down. We've got material things. Material things either get lost or they wear down. You look at all the things around you, there's not that much that's really solid. The really solid things are inside, if you develop them. So it takes some time to develop something really solid in here, and that's what will see you through. That's what will provide the happiness that we all want, i.e. a happiness that's lasting, a happiness that doesn't turn on you, and a happiness that provides the basis for even greater happiness on into the future.